Hello everybody and welcome to our new video training package of Abacus. Welding simulation in Abacus, a comprehensive and example-oriented package of advanced Abacus and finite element users. Let's look at its content in this 15 minutes demo. If you want to start analyzing your projects in Abacus, it is better to save your time by watching this demo and making your decision easier. Do not waste your time watching amateur and weak videos on YouTube. This package contains one lesson and five workshops in more than 130 minutes. And here I will present you the syllabus of some workshops and we can see some selected parts of them. In lesson main below questions are discussed. What are the welding methods? What elements and theories will be used in welding simulation? And what are welding simulation methods? Hello guys and welcome to this package. Here we will simulate welding with different methods. Just pay attention and learn lots of new things. First, we are going to introduce the welding methods. Fusion and non-fusion methods and how these methods are performed and introduce all methods at a glance. In the second chapter, we will introduce the different elements that we are going to use in the welding simulation. Finally, in the last chapter, we will explain the different methods to apply these theories in the software. Here, you will learn several ways to simulate welding in Abacus. Also, all related details will be explained completely. After all these explanations, you will have some workshops to practice the methods you have learned. If you are a beginner in the Abacus, we strongly recommend first getting and learn the Abacus for Beginners package. Note that if you are a mechanical engineer, get the mechanical version and if you are a civil engineer, get the civil version. After you learn the beginner's package, watch learn and enjoy the current package you got. Next, we recommend the Deflux package so that you can better understand the welding simulation with the subroutine method. Also, we have workshops in the Deflux package about welding simulation. This package includes more than 140 minutes of training video with every theory, detail, tip and trick you need to know. Moreover, we have common practical examples from basic to advanced to show you how to simulate welding in Abacus. All the necessary files used in this package, including simulation files, subroutine files and so on, will be at your disposal. Now, let's talk about welding methods. Generally, we have two methods of welding, fusion welding and non-fusion welding. Fusion welding uses heat to melt two or more materials to join them. This process may or may not need to use a filler material. Now, let's explain the different methods of non-fusion welding. First, let's introduce friction steer welding or FSW. The method is a solid state joining process. The heat will be generated by friction between a non consumable rotating tool and the workpiece to create a softened region. Let's categorize all methods we have learned in a table. In this table, you will see the fusion and non fusion methods and see which one uses heat or pressure or both simultaneously, all at one glance. Let's attend to chapter 2. In this chapter, we will introduce four different theories that we are going to use in welding simulation. Langerasian Adaptive Langerasian Eulerian or ALE Eulerian Elements and SPH method. The last theory we are going to explain is a smoothed particle hydrodynamics or SPH 
It is mainly used in fluid mechanics. In this method, there are no elements, only a collection of notes. This is one of the meshless or mesh-free methods in the abacus. The final method is surface and volumetric thermal flux. We use this method in arc welding. We can create a surface heat flux load like this figure here. Or a body heat flux load to simulate the welding process with the methods mentioned in this chapter. Now watch and practice the workshops to learn the welding simulation and better understand all this information. In this workshop, we are going to simulate friction steer welding process or FSW using the Eulerian element. One of the parts will be used is a plate with dimensions of 0.2 by 0.2 meters with a thickness of 20 millimeters. Here is the front view of the plate. For example, when the pin reaches the end of its path, you can see the plastic strain. Note that since we defined the two parts, abs1 and abs2, the variables exist uh, for both parts separately. Select abs1 to display the stress distribution on the left side. Select abs2 to see the stresses on the right side. We can see the results for the temperature of this node over time. Note that when the pin hasn't reached this node, its temperature is the same as the initial temperature and after the pin reaches it, it has different temperature. The results are displayed in this diagram which looks correct. Hello! In this workshop, we are going to simulate explosive welding. Here, you see the dimensions of the explosive material, titanium part and steel part. Both titanium and steel parts are concentric cylinders. The inner cylinder is the titanium part and it is going to be welded to the steel part. We will use the axisymmetric model because both the geometry and loading conditions of the model are symmetrical. Note that because the explosive material is TNT, we need to specify dimensions for this part. Now let's compare the two other model results with different frequencies. The model 1 frequency is 1 and the job 3 is 5. Create another viewport through the viewport menu, align the two viewports vertically, then in one of them show the job 3 results. And in another model 1 results. If you look closely at this region in both models, deformation quality is better in the model with higher frequency in job 3. Hello! In this workshop, we will explain the simulation of friction steer welding FSW with smoothed particle hydrodynamics SPH method. First, let's see the mechanical properties. Poisson's ratio, conductivity, shear modulus, Johnson Cook plasticity, expansion coefficient, specific heat, and density. In the first step, the tool moves downwards and penetrates into the model. In the second step, it's just rotating and doesn't move forward. In the third step, it moves in the Z direction till the end of the simulation.
you can use the animate tool to display the results in the form of a sequence of deformed shape contour plots. Now click on the animate tool. As you see, first the tool moves downwards to penetrate the workpiece. Then it only rotates and stands it, uh, in its position in the second step. Finally, it moves in the Z direction in the third step. You can see that the stress around the tool is greater than in the other areas. You can remove the die to see only the particles. Hello! In this workshop, we will explain the simulation of bot welding with the death and birth of an element method. We have two materials in this simulation, base metal and weld. The mechanical properties are conductivity, elastic modulus, expansion coefficient and specific heat at constant volume. First click on the common options tool, select exterior edges and click apply. Click on the plot co contours uh, on deformed shape tool to see the model in the form of the deformed shape contour plots. The scale factor is 15. Click on the common options tool again to change it. Select the uniform and set the value to 1. Now the model looks better. Let's uh, use the animate tool to display the results in the form of a sequence of deformed shape contour plots. While in the first step, the temperature was almost 150 degrees centigrade. Therefore, we can see how the welding process increases the temperature of the model. Thanks for watching. I hope you have got enough information about this package. But don't worry at all. If you have any questions about this tutorial, ask us via support at caeassistant.com.